Okay, first thing you need to know is Carveco does not have a T-slot cutting bit in their library. You'll need to go to the database over here, click on database, and you're going to enter this as a slot drill. Now, if you start scrolling down through here, you're not going to find the word slot drill. You need to come to the side and push add tool. And right here where it says ball nose, you're going to click on the drop down and there you will change it to slot drill. As you can see, it's a flat bottom. It doesn't look anything like a T slot, but this is what you need. So what I'll do is open up my tool that I've already entered. And that way I can just show you the numbers that I've added for mine to give you an example. So as we go down to the bottom here, you can see that I've added keyhole T slot large and small. Let me click on the large one, and here are the numbers for what I put in for my T-slot. You have to measure yours or use the manufacturer's specs to enter the numbers in here. However, uh, total diameter on the one I have is 0.4725. The step over is 0.236. Step down is 0.399, and that's important. You're going to want to know what the step down is. That relates to how long the bit cuts, how deep it cuts. Spindle speed is 18, feed rate is 30 inches a minute, and the plunge rate is 15. Now, go to the Carveco tutorials. Layton does a great job explaining how to set all this up, and I highly recommend you go over there to set up the tool before you start doing this. But to cut a T-slot, specifically, the way you do this, the way I do it, there's many ways to do this, the way I do it. First thing you want to do is make sure that your origin is in the middle. So let's move the origin to the middle here. We'll go center pixel. That puts the origin in the middle and I will shut that origin off so it doesn't confuse you. Okay, we know the origin's in the middle. Now what you'll do is create a rectangle. And again, this is how I do this. There's several different ways. Layton does this a little differently than I do. But create a rectangle for whatever given size you're looking for for the slot. Whatever the width of the slot you're looking for. Now you can do this vertically, but typically you're going to do this to hang <clears throat> pardon me, to hang a picture or something. So let's go let's go three inches wide and here's the important point. The height of the slot is 0 .001. So we need to adjust that here to 0 .001 and create. Now when you look at it, it looks like a line but uh, it's not a line. It's a rectangle if we zoom way in you can see that it's closed and that's a closed vector and what's going to happen is your tool is going to start at a given point here or on the other side and it's going to travel along those vectors turn around and come back and exit over the same spot so with that knowledge what we need to do then is create a toolpath basically a follow along toolpath we have this active going to go to contour toolpath we're going to change it to follow along right here. Start depth is zero. Finish depth is whatever your tool cut depth is. And in my case, it was 0.399. And if you can't remember that, that number, just skip it for the moment and go to your tool selection and select your T-slot tool. We'll select large in this case. Open it back up. And it'll tell you what the step down is if you enter that number in the step down when you add the tool to CarbCo. So as I said, 0.399 is the finish depth. Step down is 0.39. Feed rate, plunge rate, none of this all has to be changed. We don't need bridges. Uh, Safe Z is 0.1 as always. Click to define your material. That really doesn't matter, but we'll put in 0.75 and click OK. We calculate. And it doesn't look like it's done much, but trust me, it has. <clears throat> so what we'll do is simulate this. Now, it's not going to look like a T-slot. It's going to look like a slot drill has cut this loose. But let's simulate it just for the sake of doing it. And there you have it. As you can see, it is a slot. When I rotate, you can see that it's cut depth. And you have to imagine in this case that... On this end, you have a round hole and then a narrow slot, and a T-slot's been created. Let's go out to the shop that is the shop, and I'll actually do this for you so you can see that it works. Okay, I've got my piece in. It's just a scrap piece of pine. I've got the T-slot in. I zeroed it with 
the touch block off the surface. I'm not going to worry about where it is, but you bring your vector to the center of your project. That way you can be precise. If you want to be exactly on the money, put a V-bit in there and zero to the V-bit. But let's start it up and let's see if it makes a T-slot. Something like that. One T-slot. Made to order. All right, there you have it, folks. Another Carve Code Quickie. I hope this video helped you somehow. I hope you learned something. As always, give us a like and subscribe. Share if you haven't done so already. And we'll catch you on the next Quickie.